Hi, it's Sister Manic, and I'm here from Live to UTV. And we've got Yarn and Ryan from Chase the Sun. They were missing in action for a little while. We had to track them down. So what's going on, boys? Where were you? Never mind. You, you were chasing <laughs> tail. You're bonking somebody in the friggin' portal or something. What's going on there? No, we're just getting pissed and enjoying the uh, the festivities. Mm, yeah, yeah. We sort of uh, time got away from us. Okay. So on that, are you guys single fellas or? No, we've got, well, he's married. I've got a girlfriend. So. Oh, okay. So there was girlfriend no, there was def- there was definitely no bonking in the Portaloos. We'll just get that clear now. It was all above board. They were just well, drinking. I don't know. <laughs> so on the Portaloo subject, if you were ever locked in a Portaloo, what would you need in there with you? An esky, a heater, beer, lots of beer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you. I got a drink. So you guys are typical hardcore musicians. It's just like throw back a few as soon as you get off on the way through the set. Yeah, living yeah. the lifestyle, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love I this say. because some of the people we've interviewed have just gone, nah. Look, there's definitely nah. That's that's all yeah, bullshit. Yeah, we don't, book, you know. <laughs> yes. So how did it go? I missed your show and I'm really disappointed. Good. There was a few. Uh, there was a few sort of minor technical issues. Technical issues. <laughs> oh, what's the technical issues? What happened? Uh, just leads and amplifiers shaking about you know yeah. you'd expect that from the, your sort of music though wouldn't you yeah exactly yeah yeah if it's not shake it's not happening right exactly yeah so tell me something more about your music um well i guess we well basically we started out as an acoustic band uh doing lo- lots of i don't know traditional blues type stuff you know and we've come we've kind of stepped out and we're trying to do more rock stuff you know with yeah, uh, just did a record and a sort of bit more rocky sort of yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. a record i haven't heard that term oh, for really? ages okay sorry an album <laughs> yeah, record I, I think of vinyl when i think record yeah. you know and and that's cool i was going to say w- w- no would you would you release a a record on vinyl a release on vinyl yeah, well, uh, we're sort of looking, we're releasing the new record, oh, album, uh, next year sometime, so, uh, you know, we'll see how we go with the funds and get a, you know, it'd be good to get a, like a, a, an actual album going, so. Yeah. Hard being on the road with a family, misses, kids, did you say? Yeah, two kids and a, and a wife. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. Are they here with you? No, they're not here tonight. <laughs> yeah. Where's the bar? <laughs> oh, no, I was just thinking how hard it must be, you know. Do, do they often get stories, go back, and you've got to explain yourself and go, no, 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 that didn't happen. Who goes on the road, no. stays on the road. <laughs> she's just going to watch this interview or not? No. <laughs> don't, don't give her the link. Camera's off. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want in the next few years? What do you hope to achieve? Oh, we just released our second album uh, in Japan, so we're going to go head over there a couple of times and sort of try and... Go to Japan. How do you think they'll receive you in, in Japan? Yeah, we'll see how we go. I mean, they're, they're uh, I love the race. It's a be- beautiful people, you know, really respectful and you know, really, really cool, cool place. I've always wanted to go there, actually. So, are you gonna learn some of the local language before you go over, or just wing it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Give yeah. us a demo. Come on. What can you do? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Chinko Manko. <laughs> Dedicate yeah, ownership. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have no idea what he just said, but yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah. Well, got on iTunes. I got one of those, you know, um, Jap- Japan- Japanese for dummies sort of thing. But yeah. you know, I'm just sort of listening to, trying to get it subliminally, you know. Sweet. I um, read a little bit about you guys, and you got some old school rock influences there. Is that still, you know, applicable now? Yeah. So tell me a bit more about that. Um, well, I guess we're all different, but I mean, for me, uh, <laughs> different but same. <laughs> different but same. Um, for me. I think I've, I've always loved Akadaka, I've always loved Led Zeppelin, yep. I've always loved the great, the super bands, you know, the big yep. bands. Um, and I've loved the old blues stuff too, you know, like Howl and Wolf. Uh, I can't think of it. Yeah, Muddy Waters, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I, I sort of started more just doing sort of um, funky sort of stuff, I guess, sort of playing in funk bands and. Yeah, it's interesting actually because John sort of started out more playing sort of like the drummer. He started sort of doing more sort of jazz and stuff like that. And so we're all coming from different places, you know. Yarn sort of the true, I guess, bluesman of the band, you know. Yeah, Yarn sings as well. You sing as well. Yeah, he's, he's got a beautiful voice. <laughs> and I had the time of my life, and I'd never. F- <laughs> oh, sensational! Absolutely, we're going to get so many hits off that. We'll be unbelievable through the roof. Yeah, I would hope so. Well, anyway, enjoy the evening. Enjoy Pete's Ridge, and um, I'm glad you had a good set. Thank you. All right. Good luck. 
thanks. Live to UTV.